So that is definitely a fall leaf. Let's talk about how I built this and uh, let's go check it out. Okay, we here at Make Share Daily make all bunch of things and right now what we have is we have the classic kit with 221 pieces. We have the classic kit with 221 pieces. Let's see if you can see that. And it is set number 10692. And we're going to build a whole bunch of stuff out of Legos today. And actually it's all going to be Thanksgiving themed. So let's go ahead and look at what we're going to build first. So we're gonna build a fall leaf. We're gonna put five minutes on the clock. Let's do that. Let's put, bring up our clock, reset it. And we're gonna put five minutes on the clock and we're gonna make a fall leaf. So let's, uh, let's focus in here. So we need to make a fall leaf. So I'm thinking browns and reds maybe. Maybe red is our baseline. Uh, I want to do mostly with just plates, so I'm gathering up a bunch of plates and let's see what we can build out of 221 pieces from our classic kit. Let's give it a try. So uh, let's see. So we're building a leaf. So maybe it's going to stick out like that on the bottom. There we go. So something along those lines. Uh, I don't have any yellow plates, but I do have a lot of brown plates. So let's use these uh, to try to make a, a leaf. Matter of fact, I might might want it to look more like a maple leaf. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But also a leaf that's kind of not symmetrical. Um, most of the leaves that are, I was growing up, you know, big maple leaves um, didn't didn't really look all that symmetrical from side to side so whatever I build here I think is gonna be the right the right thing I'm just kind of going just kind of building up here as I go uh, maybe something like this on the front end oh my god what do you think guys so something like that and maybe I'm thinking layers here right some sort of layer effect and then something like this and then maybe something like that where it kind of curls up on the tip well that just looks like a bunch of nonsense um, Maybe the non-symmetrical is not the way to go. We're two minutes in. I'm thinking we gotta redo everything now that I'm looking at it. So let's uh, let's give it another try. It definitely definitely did not turn out the way I wanted it, which was you know you know or organic look to a, a leaf, right? A fall leaf. But man, that did not turn out well. So let's try again. Let's do this instead. Let's do something like that on the bottom. We'll leave this part red open. You know, maybe that part or not. Um, maybe just like that. And then maybe another one of these here. Something like that. And then this goes under here. This goes under here, maybe. I mean, it looks kind of like a Christmas tree now, which is not what I was going for, but I think to add a lot of three dimensions, you know, a depth to this, you know, it's, it's a leaf, right? So it should be flat, but to add depth to that is a little tricky, honestly. So I'm not exactly sure the best way for me to to make a modification to this. I'm not sure. Let me see what we can do. I have a little bit of time left. Let me structure that up just a tad. 
Oh, oh, I got some dots that we can use maybe to give it some depth. Yeah, that's that's adding that's adding something right here. There I used the four dots. Maybe a little black piece. A little black dot over there. Uh, maybe one over here. You know, there's like little pieces of mold on some of those fall leaves as they fall because they, you know, they don't have any uh, life to them. So what ends up happening is they develop a little bit of mold. So that gives a little more three-dimensionalness to the build itself. And I like it. I like that better. Getting rid of that really bright red and going with this more browning red. That looks really good. So there is a fall leaf. It's not multicolored, it's more brown, but that's what I find more on the on the ground. You know, they turn colors in the in the tree, but when they fall and then start to dry out on the ground, they all turn to a, a brownish color. So this to me looks like a fall leaf, um, dead on the ground, you know, dried up. And I think it'll turn out pretty well. If you think you can build something like this, go ahead and buy the classic kit. There's a link down below uh, that you can, affiliate link below that you can go to Amazon and buy this kit. It's roughly around $15. If it's more than that, let me know. But uh, typically it's around $15. You also can buy it at Walmart. So there you go. So there is the fall leaf. So that is definitely a fall leaf. And if you think this looks like fall leaf, or if you don't, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your comments about how you, how I could improve my design or how you would have done it differently with the limited pieces and the limited time that we had. But I'd love to hear about your suggestions of how to build this better. Thanks everybody for watching. So a fall leaf, that was pretty cool. Now let's spin the wheel and find out what we're going to build tomorrow. So we have nothing but Thanksgiving items on the board. Let's see what the wheel tells us to build. A cornucopia. I'm actually not sure how to spell that. I'm gonna to have to check it when I put it in the title. So a cornucopia, it's like a cone of pastry and then you stuff it with all these fall treats and uh, vegetables and turkey and everything else. So let's go see if we can build a cornucopia out of 221 pieces. And so make sure to tune in tomorrow where we build a cornucopia. See ya tomorrow. Bye-bye.